It better not be a spoon. I was just joking. Look at him. Slow down. I'm not special or superior to anyone else. Look at him. I'm not that good, guys. Please. Kalen was much better than me. Choose him over me. We're back again to play some games. We are back with Twisted Wonderland and let's just jump back in. So before we start, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my social media. It's all in the description below and we can get started. Still, still trying to escape from this freaking dorm. Still trying to escape from Jamil. Back at it again. Uh-uh, not them locking us up. Again. Alright. The ramshackle visitors are secure in their room. That's not right. Uh, let's check in on the other rooms. Wait, hold up. What? Oh, wait, wait, wait. The other, the other dorm students. Yeah, yeah. I swear, there's been another escape every day. House Warden Kalem's been very crossed about it. It's gone so bad, he's not even listening to counsel from Vice House Warden Jamil anymore. How long do we have to live like this? I just want to go home. Oh, quit your belly aching. You think I don't want to spend the holiday with my family too? I wish I could spend the holiday with my family. Are they gone? That afternoon training was so brutal. My meal was ready to come up the same way it went down. Ew. Oh yeah, we, we've been known that. <laughs> From the beginning. We already know the head mage ain't gonna be any help here. Which means it's up to us to get ourselves out of this mess. Okay. Luckily you've got my towering intellect over here. I have got a perfect prison break plan ready to go. Tower, <laughs> towering intellect, huh? Let's see, let's see. I swept our escape tool this morning. Our ticket to freedom, it may not be a spoon. You've been watching too many cartoons. <laughs> we'll use this bad <laughs> a spoon for. I was just joking. You really bought a spoon. Uh okay. We'll use this bad boy to dig our way through the floor, one spoonful at a time. That's gonna take way too much time and energy. Where does that intellect come from? This is the most basic plan possible. <laughs> No, they don't. They call me... <laughs> they used to call me Grim the Digger. Back home. Leave this to me while you stand lookout. I guess. This is the most caveman escape plan. Besides, what's below us? Wow, this is going smoother than I thought. I think I'm actually onto something here. I know you're tired. I know you're tired. Okay. I'm getting bored of digging into the same spot over and over again. Lauren, let's switch places. I'll keep an eye out. Are we going to cover up the hole? 
<laughs> the patrol's coming. Quick, pretend you're sleeping. Do we do we make it? With the most stupid plan possible? Nope. It took till morning, but we dug a hole big enough for me to fit two paws through. That's a good place. Golly, we're really <laughs> digging the hole. Golly, this is this is uh, desperate measures. This is desperate measures. Golly. Prison breaks aren't done overnight. That's a good pace for one day. Yeah, I guess we're done for today. Quick, cover the hole. Get off! Why y'all got slam my door open? I should jump you right now. Out you two. It's time for morning training. We're marching to the oasis. What? We're marching into the oasis again. Man. Again? Jamil, how can you do this? Cause this? I forgot, I forgot what I about to say. How do you put yourself through this? Is what I'm trying to say. Like, are you okay? Walking through the desert? You said anything for your plan? You have to see it through? Okay. Where do y'all keep y'all elephants? I see it now. I see it now. I see it now. Gain to the other light. Um, I see it now. <laughs> That's why he's going through all this. The other Scarabia uh, students are now looking to Jamil. They're completely done with Kalem. They're paying all their, what's the word? Cause you just saw what you just said. He said, we're like, what an amazing vice house warden. You see that? You see that? Jamil is getting more praise. I don't know. You see what I'm trying to say? That's why he's sitting through this and suffering, suffering alongside the other students. Cause now they're looking to him. I think I've got the whole desert's worth of sand in my throat. Caleb, give me some water. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't snap him out. That didn't snap him out. How dare you take that tone with me? I'm <laughs> I am not your faucet. If you want water, draw from the oasis yourself. 
You mean the one that's bone dry? How? This is going beyond tyranny. Seriously, what's wrong with the house warden? See? Look what he's doing! Don't worry. I. Ooh, I can't. Ooh. <laughs> Don't worry. I can prepare for this. We've got camels loaded with water. Offload it and share it among yourselves. You see? Exactly. That's what you're up to. Thank you. If only you were a house warden, Jamil. Oh, you the fakest person I've ever met. Perish the thought and don't vocalize it. What if Kalem heard you? That's true. Even before House Warren Kalem started acting like this, you were the one doing most of the duties, Jamel. I'm just amazed. I'm just amazed. I'm in shock. The definition of a snake. No wonder your last name's Viper. Shh, it's fine. It's my family honor. Actually, no. It's my honor to serve the Asims. Asims. He's the good guy. He's the good guy now. Drink your water and rest up. It's getting hotter now that the sun's high in the sky. The march back will, will only be worse. Ugh. It's hard to watch. And my poor Kalem. All students assemble. Break time is now over. Form ranks and no lollygagging. Is this a coup? You're about to overthrow him? Jamil, I... I can't take another day of this. I'm done following the house warden too. Why are you still obeying him, Jamil? It's because he's Kalim Elizim. I got. I still gotta practice. Say it one more time. I'm gonna get it one of these days. Kalim Elizim. I just gotta separate the Al. I, I just mix it together when I say it. Uh, I gotta practice. He's Kalim Elizim. Ala Azim. Because you have served don't 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 chime in. Don't chime in. Because you have served him for so long. Because you like him as a person. Yeah. Oops. It's hard to say. I don't wanna talk to you. Actually I do. Let's have a talk tonight. I'll arrange things so Kilim doesn't catch us. Lauren, could you spare some time for this as well? Let's, let's, let's see what he says. Is everyone here? Yes, sir. Where's Housewarn Kalem? Not you drugging him. Sleeping. I brewed him a soporific herbal tea. He should be in a deeper slumber than usual. So what's the deal? And where do we come in? I'm exhausted, so make it quick. 
I want to get back and pass out. You, you want to dig that hole. It's no different from the rest of us. Quiet down. I understand that you are unhappy with how Kalim is running things. Being locked in your dorms over winter break and forced to undergo harsh training day in and day out. Who wouldn't resent such harsh treatment? I agree what Kalem's doing is not for the best. Then why don't you stop him? I have, many times. But you stopped listening to me. If you guys have that much of a problem with it, how about saying it to Kalem's face instead of whining to Jamil? Well, um, they're chickens. What? So you can say it to this guy, but not to the one actually causing problems? What a bunch of gutless wimps. That's not true. We have tried talking to him. Over and over, actually. But he's not acting strange. The house warden really is a broad minded, kind hearted soul. Everybody in the dorm used to look up to him before this start happening. Then you got a deep voice. We thought we had the finest house warden in all of Night Raven College. When I first enrolled, I had trouble adjusting to the dorm life. He let me a shoulder and let me air it all out. When I was struggling to keep up in school and ready to drop out, he joined me for late night cram sessions to catch up. That's so sweet. Sometimes he's a little... Cavalier? And not totally on top of things, but we all loved our house warden. It was fun being a Scarabia student, and yet. So, Karim was a very good person. He was a very good person. He was a very good person. He was a very good person. Yes, Kalim is truly a fine house warden. He treats everyone equally and never puts himself above anyone else. Oh. How did it come to this? So you can't blame him because he's super nice? So it's hard to put your foot down because you look up to him. Because he's super nice? You know, it might be a good idea to get Kalem checked out by a doctor. He keeps saying one thing, then changing his mind the next minute. Even his personality shifts. That's kind of weird, don't you think? What if he ate some bad food or something? Yeah, it could be poison. What if he's sick? Sure, chime in again. It's hard to rule out. Hold on, hold on. Not you trying to get him sent away. A doctor, though. If we go back to the land of the scolding sands, that some household has a doctor in their employ. Now, 
But as things stand, simply getting him home would be an ordeal in itself. So and of itself. Uh-uh. Not you trying to get him sent away to a doctor. That's crazy. That's taking it a little too far. Darn it. This is getting us nowhere fast. Uh -huh. Um, the problem facing Scarabia now is similar to a problem the Hearthsport recently had to address. Yep. There, the students were forced to live under the Hearthsport's tyranny, as I understand it. They were all afraid of Riddle's signature spell, and no one could stand against him. Hence, I would like input from you two, since you were the central, since you were central in solving Harcible's problem. Problem. What do you think we should do? Are you are you really? Is what I thought true? Are you really going for Caleb's position? What if you challenged Caleb to a duel and became house warden yourself, Jamel? When everything went down with Riddle, Ace and Deuce challenged him after the head mage floated the idea. Of course, there were a couple of knuckleheads, and Riddle wiped the floor with them. But hey. Kalem's signature spell ain't nowhere near as threatening as Riddle's. You could probably whip him with one hand tied behind your back. Okay, so he doesn't want to be House Warden. Maybe he just wants to leave. Maybe he wants him and Kalem to leave. I don't know. That is the one solution that's utterly out of the question. Or maybe he's just faking. Maybe he's saying no. We actually means yes. I don't know. A family's fate. Go ahead. Let me hear your sob story. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but for real. <laughs> Seriously. Why even ask for advice if you're going to immediately reject it? What's your issue with the suggestion? What's your issue with the suggestion, anyway? The Viper family has assisted the Asm family for generations. How could I portray our history like that? It would be beyond the pale. I mean, what you're doing right now <laughs> is horrible. What you're doing to kill him right now sucks. You're very mean. Not to mention the lecture I would get from my parents. I'm sorry, but it just won't be right. I guess you make a good point. You just can't win no matter what, can you? I guess you make a good point. It is what it is. Okay, I get why you can't challenge Kim to a duel. But if the house warren keeps acting like this, he's going to make life totally miserable for everybody in the dorm. Riddle was bad enough, 
But this hot and cold thing Caleb's doing is making it way worse. So this yeah, he's not acting like a housewarden at all. He's not even meeting the job requirements. This goes against the Scarabian spirit. What do you mean, Scarabian spirit? Scarabian spirit is a sense of key mindfulness. A quality attribute to the Sorcerer of the Sands. And to be House Warden of one of Night Raven College's seven dorms, you must be the most befitting of the dorm spirit. Anything less. And you are unqualified to be house warden. Dueling is essentially the easy way to determine this. The seven dorms each have their own different spirits and their own way of determining who befits it. So what y'all way is? That was incorrect. How how do y'all determine? <laughs> how do you guys determine that? Yeah. Oh, okay. For example, tradition and wait. Oops, no, I didn't want that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I want to see how he says Pomifiore. Tatoiba Pomifiorewa. Dariom Kioretsna Dok Tatoiba Pomifiorewa. Dariori Kioretsna Dokiako Skurer Monoga, Liochoni Naru Dentorashi. For example, tradition in Pomfiore. Let me know how y'all pronounce pronounce that. Let me know, please, how y'all pronounce that. Pomifiore. Pomfiore. For example, tradition in Pionfiore states that the house warden is whoever can make the most potent poison. Um, that's nightmare fuel. So how can Kalem get picked to be the head honcho Scrabia? He was nominated by the previous house warden through his prior work in virtues. He cultivated a reputation as the most befitting in the dorm. Mm. I'll never forget how proud I was at his nomination. He wouldn't have had that record if you hadn't been helping him. Everybody in the dorm knows it. Why didn't the last house warden choose you instead? Don't blame him. This is Caleb here. For a relative of the Asim family to choose. Wait a minute. Oh, I can't stand you. And now you're going to act shocked like you didn't just say that. Oh, you just be set, you just be setting Kalem up for a relative of the Asim family to choose me over the main house's hair would be. So you're saying what do they call it? Nepotism? No, not is it? Kind of, sorta. <laughs> How dare you? I don't. I can't even trust you. Is it true? Was the previous house warden Kalem's relative? And you're gonna act shocked. Like, oops. Did you hear me say that? Oops. I can't stand you. Seriously, again with this Asim family stuff? Okay, nepotism. You be, be setting him up. So that's what so that's what's going on. I had no idea. That sounds like blatant nepotism. 
Man, that's some family plays way too dirty. Oh. <laughs> Please, I implore you, forget what you just heard. Night Raven College is known as a big name university precisely because it's a merito meritocracy. Merit meritocracy. You sure do use big words. Gain special privilege because of your parents. It's some that shouldn't fly here. Y'all see how this man just let the whole conversation to this point. This is why he wanted to have this meeting. He wants to reveal this to everybody. This whole conversation. He's been controlling the whole conversation. He is so sneaky. Jamil wants to be house warden. But he somehow made it so that he he's doing them a favor. He's making them ask him to be house warden. They're asking him to take over. And he's so sneaky with it. I can't even be mad at any characters for not knowing what's going on because he's so sneaky. He's good. He's real good. He's right, Vice House Warden. We won't stand for this. Social status and wealth aren't supposed to matter on campus. Here on campus. We're all supposed to be equals. But, uh... Where'd you come from? Scar where'd, where'd student D come from? Scarabia is a dorm built around the sorcerer of the sand spirit of mindfulness. Oh, this... This is the... This is the most frustrating chapter. <laughs> you know, I'm going to go ahead and say that, say, uh, book four right now. Book four right now is my favorite, is my favorite, um, <laughs> book. Right now, this is my favorite book. It's just messy. It is just messy. We got nepotism. We got Jamil being, Jamil being fake. We got a freaking coup d'etat. Oh, um, this is just messy, a messy chapter. <laughs> and we're, we're held hostage. We're trying to escape with a spoon. We're trying to escape with a spoon. Whew. I don't even know. Is it true that you think it's nepotism? Do you think it's true? Either way, I'm still on Caleb's side because he don't deserve this. And I don't know if I trust Jamil. Like, what if he's lying? Something tells me he's not quite lying about that. But I don't know. This is just messy. I've always felt that someone thoughtful like Jamil deserves the seat of house leader way more than Caleb. And you see, it, it makes me even more frustrated that he's acting like this. What are you guys talking about? I don't want the position. I don't want that. Don't do that to Kalem. But he knows what he's doing. Look at him. Slow down. I'm not special or superior to anyone else. Look at him. I'm not that good, guys. Please. Kalem is much better than me. Choose him over me. My grades are dead average. On a scale of 1 to 10, mine are 5 across the board. I'm not fit to be house warden. I'm not fit to be house warden. Ugh. Magical talent isn't what decides who benefits the dorm spirit. Or befits the dorm spirit. What 
What do you guys think? Who's most suitable house warden of everyone here? Oh, it's Jamil, no question. He's making it look natural. He's making this whole overthrow Kalem thing look natural. Sound natural. Jamil is way more fit to be scared to be a house warden than Kalem. We can't just accept an incompetent house warden because he was born into a rich family. That's right. Scarabia has got no use for a leader who can't lead. Caleb! <laughs> Scarabia won't stop for an incompetent house warden. Oh my gosh. What are you all doing? Gathering together at this hour. <laughs> Everyone in this room. Everyone in this room. Oh. Busted. Karim. They, how long can you keep this hypnotism up? It's literally been all day. Don't like where, what's the re, what's the requirements for your spell? Because so far this spell is OP. <laughs> your spell is over is overpowered, Jamil. How long does this last before you have to? No, reset it. Because obviously he could snap out when he hears something. But obviously Jamil fixed it. Because when we went to the oasis in the beginning, um, water the word water didn't snap him out. So I ain't I need to know how your spell works because right now it's very OP, it's very overpowered and unfair. <laughs> and quite evil. It's a very evil spell. Morning training clearly wasn't enough for you. If you still have this much energy to burn. Jamil, take the stones out to the courtyard this instant. The courtyard, sir? We'll do magic training until their bodies give out. That's ridiculous. I don't know about you, but I'm already way past my limit. Do I need to repeat myself? Hurry up! Fine. Come on, everyone. Out. <sighs> That's like I was holding my breath through the whole thing. Cause wow. Wow. I can't believe Jamil is taking it this far. If he keeps this up, he's actually gonna get Kalem sent to like a doctor. He's gonna get Kalem sent out of the school. Am I winning or losing? I think I'm winning. <laughs> I can't believe this. Golly. I'm... I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I am tired. I can't believe this is happening to Caleb. I can't believe Jamil's acting like this. What is your problem, bro? For real. He really gonna get him sent to a doctor if this keep, if this keeps up. Um and the the like I said, the fact that he's acting like he's acting <laughs> like that. I don't want the position. Oh no, my grades are average. 
There's no way I can be house warden. Don't put that on me. I don't want to be house warden. I'm too humble. <sighs> it's so frustrating. And Calum, the fact, ooh, the way that he revealed the previous house warden was related to Calum was crazy to me. That's crazy. The fact that he just revealed that and was like, <gasps> oops. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my social media. It's always description below. I may or may not keep playing right now. I might keep going. <laughs> but um, either way, I will see you guys next week. Bye bye. I'm, I'm my hand. I'm, I'm heated. I'm heated.